Welcome back to Simplo School. My name is Dave and today we will discuss IT governance committees. We will look specifically into IT strategy committees and IT steering committees. As a reminder, I would love to post more content related to the CESA exam. So please leave your comments below on topics you want me to discuss. Let's jump right into IT governance committees and discuss what committees we should look out for on the CESA exam. First, what are IT governance committees? They are executive level entities that make key decisions related to IT affairs that are relevant to the organization. On the CISA exam, we look at two specific committees, the IT Strategy Committee and the IT Steering Committee. What is the purpose of the IT Strategy Committee? An IT Strategy Committee provides insight, advice, and direction to the Board of Directors on IT strategy. The second committee we look at is the IT Steering Committee. What is the purpose of an IT Steering Committee, you may ask? An IT Steering Committee assists and monitors the execution and implementation of IT. Don't worry, we will discuss this more in detail in the preceding slides. Let's jump right into it. Starting with IT Strategy Committee, the purpose of this committee is to advise board and management on IT strategy. The responsibility of this committee is to provide insight on the alignment, availability, and achievement of IT objectives related to business. One key detail of the IT strategy committee is that the committee serves to align, drive, and optimize IT with business strategy. The membership of the IT Strategy Committee is normally comprised of board members and non-board member specialists. Now let's hone in on the IT Steering Committee. The IT Steering Committee's purpose is to assist the execution and implementation of the IT strategy. The responsibility of this committee is to focus on the implementation by overseeing day-to-day -day management of IT projects. One key detail to remember about the IT Steering Committee is that the committee serves to monitor, acquire, and approve project resources and plans. The membership of this committee is a long list. It's normally comprised of senior management, business executives, key advisors, and the CIO. This is the breakdown that you need to know for the CISA exam. My advice would be to pay attention to the noted arrows for each respective committee. Okay, let's now bring this all together to understand the relationship amongst the committees. IT Strategy Committee advises the Board of Directors and Management on IT Strategy. The Board of Directors then use the insight from the IT Strategy Committee to make decisions. Once a decision is made on the IT strategy, the Board of Directors provide instruction to the IT Steering Committee to complete the deliverables. Lastly, the IT Steering Committee assists with the execution and implementation of the IT strategy. Let's jump into some questions and test your knowledge. Okay, let's go perfect on these questions. Question number one. An IT strategy committee would most likely perform which of the following functions? If you answered B, you are correct. An IT strategy committee would most likely advise management on the IT strategy. A, C, and D are all incorrect as these are all functions that are normally performed by the IT steering committee. Let's go to question number two. An IT steering committee would most likely perform which of the following functions? If you answer D, you are correct. An IT steering committee would most likely oversee the day-to-day -day management of the IT service delivery. A, B, and C are all incorrect as these are all functions that are typically performed by the IT strategy committee. Question number three. What type of personnel belongs to the IT Strategy Committee? Come on, I know you have it in you. Remember the diagram we looked at previously. C would be the correct answer. This is because A, B, and D all likely belong to the IT Steering Committee. Two questions to go. 
question number four. The IT blank committee is responsible for monitoring the overall project. The IT steering committee is responsible for monitoring the overall project. As we discussed before, the IT strategy committee is responsible for providing the overall direction of the project. And last question, let's go five for five. Company X established an IT steering committee to monitor the digital transformation of the company. The IT steering committee would most likely be responsible for... If you answered B, you are correct. The IT steering committee would most likely be responsible for approving project plans in this scenario. A. C and D are very specific tasks that the IT steering committee would not normally carry out. One thing that can help you remember this is the IT steering committee is responsible for overseeing and approving high level project initiatives. However, the committee is not responsible for specific IT functions and activities. This explains why B is the correct answer. If you enjoyed this video, Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I will be posting more content on the way. Thank you very much.